Hello friends, how are you guys? We are going to get our nails done. I'm so excited, sorry for my voice. But these are my current nails, they're not bad. But I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. Like Kim Tai, you do not like anything else in your nails but French and nude colors. And I went and got this for Valentine's Day. They're not bad, like look how cute they were, or they are. I got like red French tips with like a little heart. I just, but it's just not for me. So a week and a half later, we are going back. My girl Joyce is back. I'm so, so excited. Joyce does my nail at Estee Nails. I will link her down below for you guys. She's actually the nail salon owner, but she only works weekends now because she has another business that she's also managing. So she's only there on weekends if you guys wanna book with her. I think I'm gonna get new today or maybe French. I don't know yet. They're so cute. I got this color that I've never gotten before. It looks similar to usually like the family of colors that I get, but it's 878 by D&D, &D, I believe. I'll try to find it online. I really like this color. I don't know if you guys can tell. I just got a nail polish change. I didn't get a refill, so she had to do it a little bit thicker just to kind of hide the gap at the top. Oh, they're cute. I love them. Hello? Hola. What's up, babe? I'm going to Gardenas. Do you want anything? I'm going to get my Just chips. <laughs> your chips? Yeah, I'm going to get my chips. I'm going to get my chips and I'm going to get my caldo de res or caldo de pollo, depending on what they have. Nice. Nice. Yeah, can you just can you just give me the the, the Cheeto balls you got me? See, si, I can do that. Um, um, yeah, just give me the <laughs> just those Cheeto balls, please, and then um. Yes. There was one more thing. Should I get snacks for well, tomorrow? Yeah, I think you should get snacks for tomorrow, and you should get snacks for today too, because we're watching the show tonight, aren't we? Yes. Oh, I just saw a Bronco. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I know yeah. they're nice, huh? Yeah, they're really nice. I am at Cardenas right now. I'm looking at a few things. Carlos asked for these pastries, but I don't know what they are. These might be it. I told him to send me a picture, but he didn't send it yet. I got a bunch of chips. I'll show you guys when I get home because I feel like the music's really loud here. I think this is what Carlos wanted. Look, this has pineapple strip in the middle, and then this has a strawberry strip in the middle. This might be it. He didn't send me a picture yet. Hopefully he texts me before I leave the store, but I think this is it, you guys. Also, I cannot stress enough how obsessed I am with these chips. They are so freaking good, you guys. They're the Thaki's Kettled Jalapeno Chips. They're my current favorite. I'm not even a chip person, and I love them. I'm trying this for the first time, and then Carlos loves these bolitas. They're basically cheese balls, and they're so delicious, but yeah. If you don't eat chips like I do, you still have to try these because they're amazing. So I love going to Gardenas because hopefully I'm saying that right. Gardenas? Like all of this is new to me. I've never had any of this before. And obviously Carlos loves it here because it's literally his childhood in one store. They also have this whole section for hot foods. I'm gonna get some gado. All the agua frescas are here. These little containers look good. I love the chia lemonade and the tamarind. Those are my favorite. They also have the best chicken wings. These wings are delicious. I had them last week and they're so, so good. And then pork stomach, they have chicken. They also have chicharrones. I love the chicharrones. Oh, these are freshly made. They're hot right now. And then over here, they have the soups. I believe that this is pozole and then they have gado. So I'm gonna do gado de res, which is in the back. And then I believe the front is pollo, which is chicken. It's so good. Oh my God. Actually, I might try their pozole today too. I don't feel like cooking today, so this is going to be so good. Here, baby. I made Carlos close his eyes. Hold my hand. Stand here. Hopefully, I got the right one. Okay. No, open. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> yeah, those are it. Yay! They changed their logo, but these are it. These are like some of my favorite snacks right here. We did it, you guys. They're called barritas, and basically it's it's a little bar of bread, and then it has like jelly down the middle, and that's basically it. Oh, pineapple filled cookies. That's basically what it's translated to, but these are pineapple, and then these are strawberry, and I love these, these are so good. Fire, these are so good. If you guys ever come across these, oh my goodness. They're not sold at American grocery stores. I can only find them at Gardenas. They are delicious. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys know, but the Eagles are in the Super Bowl tomorrow. Carlos is shitting himself privately. He doesn't want to talk about it because he doesn't want to jinx the game, but he's very, very excited for the game tomorrow. I am. Oh, oh. that's my favorite soda. Yeah. 
And then jarritos. And then... Baby, it was four for five dollars. Oh, that's why you got these? Is that cheaper than Seder Brothers? I don't know what Seder Brothers is. I'm like, well, I don't know what, what their uh, sale sale thing is. This is pretty good. And then this is pretty good. So these are apple sodas. These are all really good. The best chips in the world. And I don't even like chips that much. And then my favorite, like, Kim bought me these last time and they became my favorite. These are Chivos Bolitas. And I think they're Mex They're only Mexican. Like, you can only get them at, like, Mexican stores or something because I've never really seen them at Stater Brothers or Target or anything like that. So these are really good, too. Oh, you got Fuego. She got Fuego. Are those good? I don't know. I'm going to try them. Well, I'm glad you like those. These aren't bad. These are better than the, the what are they called? Do not talk about my Pennsylvania chips. Martin's potato chips. They're so good. Wait. But these are way better than mm. Martin's. You said you didn't like them last week, and now you like them? Wait, these are fire. <coughs> oh, man. Maybe I got a bad bag or something. I'm going to try Gardena's Pozole for the first time. They're right. Sorry. <laughs> the rice is pretty good. And then I also got caldo de res, which is my favorite. Last time I was there, they had caldo de pollo, which is the chicken. I love their caldo de res. She's been obsessed with it. It, it needs like a little bit more salt for like my liking, because you guys know I like mine a little more flavored. And a little bit of muya. Oh, and muya. Yeah, when she was scooping the pozole, she was avoiding all the bones, and it literally broke my heart. It's because a lot of people don't like bones. And I was like, like can I please have a bone? And she's like, oh, you like bones? And I was like, yeah. Yeah, there are people that just want to, you know. Oh, I put a little bit of mayo in there. Mmm. Baby, come, come. It's not hot, baby. Ooh. Oh, I love pozole, you guys. Pozole mm. is my favorite for Christmas. Carlos's family, we host them for uh. like Christmas Eve into Christmas. It's like a tradition in our family. And then we go to my mom's for Christmas Day. Anyways, for Christmas Eve, my in-laws come over. Carlos's whole family's here and they make a big pot of pozole. And I literally sit there. I think last Christmas I had six bowls, you guys. Ha huh, babe, in one night, it was like five or six bowls. And yeah. then the next day I had like four more bowls. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, pozole is so good. Mm -hmm. I like red pozole more than green. You guys like red more than green? I feel like red has more flavor. And then I also like when it's like like actual pozole like meat. Like I don't like chicken in my pozole. The green one is usually chicken. Okay, yeah, I don't like the chicken pozole. This one is seasoned so well. Oh man, I'm just missing the cabbage and the radish. Mm. Don't you have radish? <sighs> no, I don't. You didn't buy it Dang, a whole bunch? Dang, I'm just missing that cabbage, radish, and what else? Didn't you buy a whole bunch, babe? No, baby, I ate it all. There's a little kick to this one and it's so good. Damn. Hey, Cardenas is pretty lit. I love Cardenas. Oh my god, baby, eat that. Eat the meat, baby. Kim's <clears throat> been obsessed with Cardenas like the last couple weeks. It's I love Cardenas. <clears throat> muy bien. Oh my, oh like, god. muy bien. Holy smokes. Is there a Cardenas in OC? I'm pretty sure. The thing is, the thing with OC is Woo! you have so many, you have so many different Mexican markets though. So the Superior, there's Northgate, right? Mm, I think have you I, been to Northgate? Do you think, like it? Or I think, no, that's different, right? No, Superior and Northgate is different. Have you been to Northgate? I think I've been there like one time. Okay, I'm gonna eat the caldo de res later. Cause you know, soup goes through your body and comes out really quickly. <laughs> and then you got the bodega that was, that's near my mom's house. Mm. Which is where I love that I, used, store. I used to go all the time there. I am regretting not getting some more for later. Well, you didn't know. It's a good thing you only bought that much because what if, it, what if you didn't like it and it wasn't that good enough? I just hope the next time I go back and get pozole that it's good, baby. Oh my gosh. Do I have to put oil to fry these? I mean to... I would, baby. A little, a little bit. bit. Oh, did you see my nails? You like them? Mm -hmm. I was gonna get spider webs on them. Spider webs? Yeah, all the cool kids, they're getting like spider webs all over their nails. That's cool. <laughs> Maybe I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know these days. I'm gonna finish this whole thing. Carlos has been craving this for, I think like a week now. He loves eating his hot dogs with tomatoes Wait, and ketchup and mayo. Who doesn't eat tomatoes? I, I'm just not a hot dog person, so I don't really, I just eat my hot dogs with ketchup. I don't know anything else. That's it? Yeah, I'm really oh. boring. Yeah, that's, hmm. <laughs> Yeah, this is Carlos's favorite meal. Look at those hot dogs. It's not my favorite meal, but it is very good. Oh, yeah. You're craving, like, once in a while. Ooh, fancy. We are going to watch this amazing show on HBO Max called The Last of Us. It's originally a video game that Carlos played, and then he was like, babe, we have to start this show together. It's really good. It has my celebrity crush, my man. He can do no wrong in my eyes. You know who he is. <laughs> you don't know his name? Yeah, it's Pedro Pascal. 
Pedro Pascal, yeah. He is. Mm. If you guys don't know who he is, he came in on he came out on Game of Thrones and Game of Thrones. And Narcos. Narcos. Yes. He's uh he's he, Javi in Narcos. He's aging very well. That's <laughs> all I got to say. It's a good show. If you guys haven't played the video game, it's a sh you don't have to. It's not like you have to play the video game to know what's going on because this is basically the story. It's really oh here it is. The Last of Us. The Last of Us. Yeah, it's really good. I think this is episode three. It airs every no four. It the, airs every Sunday. Airs every Sunday, but they aired it early because of the Super Bowl and which is tomorrow. That's crazy. Bella Ramsey is also really she's such a good actress. She came out in Game of Thrones too, and she was really good in that as well. So you guys should check it out. Hello you guys it's been a few hours later so in the spirit of Valentine's Day this week Carlos and I love hanging out and watching Lifetime movies so right now we're all on the couch we're chilling we're watching this Lifetime movie that has two stars we're really excited about it and I'm also we always choose like the cringiest movie that's a Lifetime movie um, but sometimes it turns out to be pretty good and then I'm also eating this bowl of pho here I wanted a late night snack and this looked so good Saigon pho Vietnamese rice noodles this one one right here not bad it has like the thick noodles in here just popped in the microwave for like three minutes the flavor is actually pretty good this is chicken flavor not like authentic pho but you know it kicks the craving. Oh my gosh, you guys. Hello, it's the next day. Happy Super Bowl. This girl decided to run to the chip bag and eat one. And I was like, no, I, I have, to, yet. I have I to get it. your reaction. Okay, I've been literally telling Michelle about these chips all week. What do you think? That's addicting. Right? Wow. Why is it so good? It's nicely salted. It's so kettle cooked. It's good, mom. Especially with a bottle of water right next to you. What? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. It is Super Bowl. I just woke up. Michelle just arrived. It's like noon right now. Hello. We are going to the 88 Ranch, which is an Asian market in Temecula. So as you guys know, the Eagles are in the Super Bowl today. We're all excited. All the boys are wearing their own jerseys. We got Riley George one because he is so hard to shop for just because he's oh God, so big. So cute. He's so big, mom. So it's so hard for me to find a jersey for him. This fits him though, right? Yeah, we just tried it on oh, yesterday. So cute. It's so cute. And then all of the littles have jerseys as well. <laughs> so we're all going to wear black. And then Carlos and I ordered a jersey, but because it was a Super Bowl or like the big Super Bowl, they didn't come and then they canceled our jerseys. <gasps> so we're kind of sad about that. I thought I told you, no? No, you didn't tell me. Yeah, you they can't. Come. They canceled it. So do you so. guys have something? Yeah, I have a crew. I have a hoodie and Carlos has a hoodie. Oh, okay. So we're going to be in black. And then we have a <laughs> little shirt for Miss Clementine. This used to be Cooper's when he was a baby, baby. So Clementine's wearing this and then we got Michelle a shirt for Super Bowl today because we were like I was telling Michelle I was like we are not watching the Super Bowl while you and Clem just sit there in plain clothes It's I'm cute car for the bird. Isn't it cute mom? It is. Like you would totally wear that outside of football. Mm -hmm. well, oh my gosh I Also wear it as PJs. It's so cute you guys. I got this off Amazon I'll link it down below if you guys are Eagle fans, but yeah, I quickly went on Amazon I'm and got really it. I'm not really the size. This is oversized <laughs> <laughs> We all wear big sizes here. We love comfy. I'm excited. This is so pretty. I love that shirt. Nice. Carlos said that he wants one too after seeing it. It's so cute. It's so cute. Okay, we are going to head to the store now. I have to hold it. Oh. I do it for my man. He literally Look come down from here. It's $10 a bottle. You just have to stand here like a loser <laughs> for like an hour. Dude, how busted do I look right now? Just keep walking. <laughs> We're gonna go look at the seafood. Kim's been craving Dungeness. So, hopefully we... That's all the where we got the hot pot stuff? Oh. Would you like hot pot today? Should I get some meat? What are we eating today? I have no idea, Mom. I didn't really plan out what I was cooking. I don't really see I hot pot meat. I usually plan. <laughs> Just been kind of busy, you know? <laughs> Where's the hot pot meat? No, there's no hot pot meat today. They oh, must have all are, taken it. Oh, this is beef tongs. Hopefully we get Dungeness. Do they usually have Dungeness? Yeah. Ooh. Do we have one more? Oh. Oh my god, mom. Because it's Super Bowl. They only have one more. The Asians came. All the Asians are doing seafood. Oh they my god. They clams too. Look at our big clams. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dead. Casper. Casper? Hi. <laughs> we are all decked out in our Eagles jerseys because it is Super Bowl time. Look at Riley in his jersey. 
Mr. Ruby, you look so nice. And Capella, Riley George. Oh, he's so happy. Bless you, baby. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is Riley George in his jersey. He said he's gonna start next season. And then this is Casper. And then Miss Clementine. Michelle's gonna change into her shirt. And then we have Miss Jacoby <laughs> in his jersey. Look. Hi, Kobe. And then we have Rocky. Hi, Rocky. Rock a doodle. Rocky. Hi. What are you digging for, Mama? So everyone is all decked out. Look at Miss Clementine. She's so cute. Oh, and then I'm wearing just a hoodie because our jerseys didn't come, so I'm sad. So this is my hoodie. And then Carlos is ready. He's gonna watch it in here, but we're gonna turn it on in the living room as well. Hi, baby. Good luck. Oh, he's stressed. This is his outfit. Okay, let's start. Also, I didn't get a chance to show you guys. We did a major transfer transformation in this nook hallway leading into our master our primary bedroom but look do you guys remember what this looked like before so we changed it up we did shiplap and then we painted it black as you can see I kept the mirror this mirror is from Zara home I'll link it down below they still have it everyone always asks where I got this mirror whenever I post it on Instagram and then look I made it into a little office nook so I can kind of hang out with my family and do some work here this oak tabletop Top Brian from the Larios project. He did it for us last night and it came out so good. I'll link them down below as well. Look how beautiful it is, you guys. And it's so sturdy. And then I got this chair from World Market, which I'll link for you as well. I think I'm going to decorate this part in a little bit. I'm gonna keep it very simple. I have like little containers and then a new vase from Zara Home that I'll show you guys. But how cute is this? I don't know if you guys remember what it looked like before, but it looks way better now. I'm literally obsessed. Oh my god, look, it's so cute. I love it so much. And then it goes with the living room. Oh, our home is turning out so good. Oh yeah, to protect, definitely. I would too. Everywhere. Knees, everything. We are gonna start cooking. I got 10 pounds of crawfish, frozen though. I know it's crawfish season, but they didn't have fresh crawfish. And Michelle's watching the game. And then I was able to get Dungeness crab. You guys know how they only had one? We asked him if he had any more, and he brought out four in the back. So I'm gonna boil all of this up. <laughs> He's so romantic with the whole damn thing. All the crawfish, right, Mom? See. Look how big these suckers are. Ooh, look, you guys. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I'm so excited. While we wait for the crawfish and the crab, I'm eating this soy dessert. Michelle's obsessed <laughs> with the chips. They're good. They're good, people. They're good. This is a soy, like a tofu soy dessert that I love. So basically, this is just plain tofu. And then there's like a ginger syrup that you drizzle on top, and it's freaking delicious. It's like my favorite thing ever. It looks like this, friends. Look. I know it doesn't look that appetizing, but it tastes really good. And you eat it really, really cold. Mm. Just a very cold snack on a summer day. That's how I think of this. Mm. <gasps> Mom! What? Look! Whoa! It's time, it's finally time. Oh, can you take that too? I got so many social media. <laughs> you guys, the Rihanna concert is about to start. We're here for the Rihanna concert. <laughs> Yeah, Riri! Go, Riri! And the food is ready. We have crawfish. And then look at these big babies. Oh my goodness. She's so hot. Oh my god. How did you get up there? You see the fries? So, there's this restaurant by our house, you guys. It's called Gus Juniors. Juniors. And they make the best chicken nuggets I've ever had in my whole entire life. The outside is crispy, and it's everything that McDonald's mm. thinks their McNuggets taste like. Like, you know how, like, McNuggets are like, I don't know. Just, Michelle, show me. Okay, ready? Look and at don't it. lie, okay? Look at it. Mom, don't lie. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are they good? Their batter is good. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. Are they like this because it was hot? Yeah. And the steam? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let them cool off. Let them harden. Oh, okay. Then you'll get the crispy. Okay. Because I was going to say, I don't see where the crispy came from. Yeah. Okay. Because it was, well, look how wet okay. this bag is, you guys. Let me open this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Eagles lost. 
It was bullshit. The Ramoses have come up with some type of concoction. This is what my husband and I do at two in the morning sometimes. Ranch baby. This is their love language right here. Whatever it is, it's happening. So what happened was, uh huh. we couldn't decide. So we just kept adding. So we just kept adding comments. all of our favorites. <laughs> Like, what is remember, babe? Yeah. Remember we made this. What is going on? Is that good? A, a little, little bit, bit more. more. Yeah. It's really good, friend. I'm not even kidding. You guys have mixed five different condiments. Yes. Now I know some people don't like this stuff. Excuse me, I burped. I'm sorry if y'all heard that. <laughs> but we love this stuff. Oh, what stuff? Mix it with a spoon because the chopstick's not doing much, man. Here. Friend. The chopstick can do a lot. <laughs> No, babe, look. Oh my boy. Man, you don't know. Yeah, man. All right, here we go. You try it first, babe, before we offer Michelle, and it doesn't taste good. <laughs> I'm trying with a fry. Think more sriracha? Mm hmm. Oh, I can't mix with this. I licked it. Use the other side. Oh, yeah. I think that's good. More sriracha. No, oh, that's good, babe. That'll make it too sweet. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yes, Michelle. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, Michelle Choi. They are nice and crispy. <laughs> okay. Before they were soggy because they were in the bag. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. This tastes better now. Bomb! I don't know why, but that tastes good. I don't know why. Mm. These are the condiments. <laughs> you guys want to try. Honestly, we don't. And ranch. We don't. We just eyeballed it. And ranch. But ranch All is ranch. apparently way little than the rest of them. Mm -hmm. And if you <laughs> want it a little bit more spicy, you have sriracha. If you want it a little bit sweeter, you have more uh, barbecue. And sauce. what's the name of this sauce? Oh, uh, it's our spicy top four. Because this is spicy, and these are our top four sauces with the, with ranch. the ranch. Goodbye. <laughs> Mm. Everyone, Michelle would like to tell you that they are good now because they're I not soggy. Her every time to try the food before you give it to me, and she said no. How good are they now? They're good because they're not I soggy anymore. Uh -huh. I get. Look at my princess. Princess Clem. If you guys, if you guys <laughs> have a best junior near you, definitely. I think it's a us thing, baby. No, no, no. Like a, no. No. Because there's one. Because I told uh, I told Daniel about it, and he used to live in like the L.A. area. Oh, there's a Gus Jr. in L.A. I think so. <gasps> By, like, near Ooh, there, so. you guys. Now, if it's not good, don't come for them. They are good. They are <laughs> no, nice good, and though. crispy. Look at that. No, I mean like at your Gus Jr. Oh. It might be a their yeah, Gus Jr. Like, thing. Like, oh, yeah. ours is good. Our yeah. Gus Jr. is bomb. I hope that yours is good as well. Friends, how beautiful! I got this stone container at Zara Home. I'll link this down below for you guys. It comes with a lid. You can use it in your bathroom or in your office or for a decor piece. And it is so pretty. Look at that. And then I got this as well. You can hold your toothbrushes. I'm going to put this in the nook that we just finished. And I'm going to put my pencils in. And then, oh my god. Look at this vase. This is also from Zara Home. All three of these things are from Zara Home. I'll link them down below. This vase comes in a big and a small size. This is the big size. It is huge, and I just love the shape of it. It is stunning. Michelle is going to help me. <laughs> okay, Mom, what do you want to do first? I was thinking vase on the right side of the nook. You want the vase on the right? I think the vase on the right would be stunning. So when people stand out here, they can see it. Dude, Brian did so good on this tabletop. The oak is beautiful. Do you want it like against the wall? What do you think? A little bit out? It's just a tiny bit out. That's fine. And then I was thinking the stone box here can be pushed like so heavy. Like right here? Mm -hmm. Like that? With the little... Like in the center or like? I think in the center. Okay. Do you love it, mom? Yeah, greenery for sure. Greenery, not not dried plants? Or dried, either one. Well, we have, I think those would be pretty. Can you reach by the way? Do you? I can't reach, See. obviously. I think you can do it, I believe in you. Okay, I need to find a new place for her. She's so pretty. Michelle can do everything. <laughs> She is amazing. She is queen. I like these dried plants, which by the way, you guys, I dried these up myself. <laughs> I bought baby's breath and some other plants and I just let them dry and I use them around the house. So we are gonna switch. Yeah, mom, that's stunning. You can just lift them out. Oh, just all of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? We might have to fluff. kind of sink. What do you think? Beautiful, right? Oh, that's pretty. The way you're like spreading them is really pretty. They're so dry. <laughs> I like it dry because I can't keep anything alive. Cute, right? Yeah, I'm just... I'm just like you want yeah. me to put stuff under like yeah. like grocery bags yeah. so it because what does it's it look like when it's higher? Oh, that is prettier. We're gonna need like two grocery bags maybe? Okay, we'll get grocery bags. We ended up putting three grocery bags at the bottom of the vase and this is what we got. So pretty in the corner. I wonder if we should move it out a little. Okay, that looks great. Ooh! Cute. 
two pens. That's really pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it. Pretty. Sit down, mom, sit down. This is where Michelle's gonna do her skincare as well when she sleeps <laughs> over. This is where I'm gonna work. This is the reception area to the Ramos' uh, <laughs> primary bedroom. I love it. It's pretty. It makes the space so much bigger. Wow, I love Do you remember this. the before? I do, but I don't remember it being this big. I have a before photo I'll show you. It's beautiful. This is way prettier. If you guys have a nook or like a little area in your house and you don't know what to do with it and you guys want to make it functional, I hope this was a good idea and you guys do it because I actually love it. Yeah. This is beautiful. It's so pretty. I'm so excited to share this project with you guys. So we've lived in this house for how many years? This is our third. Three. So this is our third year living in this house. And if have you guys noticed, I have not put one thing in these frames in the dining area. And for the longest time, I just couldn't figure out what I should do because I want everything to be very meaningful in our home, and it I want it to like feel like home and feel really good and stuff. So then one day I went on Etsy. And there's this company. I don't know if they're a small business. They seem like a small business from what I was researching. They do water colorings of your pets. And so I ordered eight water colorings and I told Carlos, I was like, oh my God, we have eight dogs in our lives. That means so much to us. Why don't we fill up the frames with the dogs in our lives? But I didn't want it to be like too dark or like too in your face or too big. I still wanted it to be like aesthetically pleasing. So these are the dog watercolor. This is Cooper. I will go ahead and link the company on Etsy down below if you guys wanna get this for yourself or a birthday present with someone who has a pet. But this is Cooper with his tongue sticking out. And then in the next frame, this is Casper. And then this is Rocky. And then you guys know we have four dogs, so this is Riley. And then the bottom four frames, we're gonna do the four dogs that we love oh so much. So this is Max, which you guys know is Carlos's family's dog. It's, it's his sister's dog, Max. This is Chiquita, which is Carlos's other sister, Miriam's dog. This is Miss Clementine, which you guys know, Michelle's dog, my bestie's dog. Clementine's here too. Look how good Clementine looks with her pearls. And then this is Mateo, which is Veronica and Ruben's dog. Mateos are a little baby. So I thought these were so pretty and I wanted to share with you guys. Also, I thought that we were just paying for the watercoloring. It came framed, which is such a good price by the way, because these white border frames are actually really expensive. So it came perfectly framed. So you just have to buy a frame and they're so pretty. So great for presents. Great around your house. I think they're so simple and minimalistic. And I'll show you guys what it looks like in the frames. Finally, we have stuff in the frames. So, I was thinking like my dog's on top and then everyone yeah. else on bottom. What's the order? Are you doing from the order? I think, yeah, Cooper, Casper, Rocky, Riley. Okay. And then Max, no. Yeah, Max, Chiquita, Clem, and then Mateo. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so Kim and I have been trying <laughs> to <hang. No. laughs> We've been trying to hang this damn frame. So all the frames have these claws on the back, which make it really easy. But that first one over there, and this one has the little triangles where you're supposed to hook it on. And it is impossible. <laughs> Kim has some type of situation. But anyways, this is a struggle. We did it, everyone. They are up. Michelle is just not happy with me. <laughs> Honey, Adele this weekend. Adele this weekend. Adele this Las weekend. Vegas. How many other photos? Adele. You got honey. Adele this weekend, baby Adele. girl. So all of it is up. It's looking so beautiful. I love how minimal they look. So these frames are going right here behind the couch. We did this in the hallway. I don't know if you guys remember, but I don't know if you guys remember, but in the hallway, we did this molding last year. So I thought behind the couch was looking kind of empty. So I ended up doing the molding as well. And then we did some frame lights and we're doing also picture frames from Target inside them. These frame lights are from Amazon. I will link them down below. They came in. I think silver brass and black. We ended up doing the brass color here just so it matches the kitchen pendants, but they're so cute. I will link them down below for you guys. And then I put frames here, which Michelle is changing them out for me because she is the best friend anyone could ever ask for. Wow. Adele! Adele! <laughs> 
So I found these on Etsy actually. It was $3 for a PDF and they're so beautiful. I just typed in like canvas artwork and then I printed it at CVS for like $10 each. And they're so cute. I wanted to add more like warm tones into our living room, which you guys will see why in a few weeks. I'm really, really excited how everything is coming together. So I'll link this artwork down below for you guys as well. Like I said, they'll send it to you right away and you can just go to your local Walmart, Costco, CVS and print them. And this is like, I think 11 by 14. These frames are from Target, by the way. The ones behind the couch. I had to order online because, Michelle, what happened to my Target? Oh. <laughs> Some crazy psycho went in there with a bomb, with a you guys threatening. It was something. absolutely chaotic. So basically, when was it? Oh, you know what? It was the morning of Thut. So it was January 22nd, I believe. It was the morning of Thut. It was Sunday morning. Some guy, which by the way, they just arrested him, I think two days ago. So it took him, it took them like two weeks to find who the heck this guy was. But this guy went into Target at like 7.30 in the morning and he brought like a homemade bomb or like a firework explosive and he basically lit Target on fire. A huge fire happened in Target in the men's clothing section. All the sprinklers turned on so Target had like major water damage and all the clothing and everything in that section basically burned down I believe and his, his thing or what they think is he wanted to set that off so it could distract people because he wanted to steal stuff in the technology section which is like like right next to the men's clothing. And I think the guy ca uh, caused like $11.6 million in damage because Target is gonna be closed for eight weeks. Yeah. Which is crazy, you guys. So I haven't had a Target. I think now my closest Target is like 25, 30 minutes away-ish, but that one isn't as lit as this one because the Target by me is a super Target. So they just have absolutely everything. But yeah, a huge fire happened. It was, thank goodness no one was hurt, by the way. It was early in the morning. Yes, it was early Sunday morning. Nobody was there, thank goodness. Nobody was hurt. I think he honestly just wanted to steal stuff. Did I'm he just, steal anything? I don't think so. Okay. I don't think, they didn't mention anything. But I'm just so glad that no kids were there, no parents, like nobody was there. So thank goodness nobody got hurt. But yeah, my Target has been closed now for, we're going on a month. So it's almost four weeks and they're gonna be closed probably for another four weeks before they open. Yeah, that's basically what happened at Target. <laughs> What's in box number one? <laughs> it's so pretty, you guys. If you guys ever want artwork, go on Etsy, type in the artwork that you want and you can pay like two or three dollars and just print it at like CVS or Costco or whatever. This one is so freaking pretty. I love it. Oh, she's sleeping. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Oh, look at her. Michelle, thank you. What? You You're just so kind. Adele. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. You guys, look how beautiful it is. Michelle loves it too. It's pretty. Oh, I love it. It's gonna go perfectly with everything. Oh yeah, I haven't told. Oh, you guys, you guys don't know. I haven't told anybody what we're doing in the living room. That's why I have been changing like the decor only, like I'm not doing anything crazy, but like the decor on the shelves here, I'm gonna change those out to like new decor cause I wanted the living room to be a little bit more warm. So I'm really, really excited to show you guys. By the way, new coffee table from Article, I'll link that for you guys. But I was gonna show you in like the actual like new living room transformation video. But yeah, new coffee table from Article and then new flower pot from McGee & Co. So I'll link those two things as well. So many things to share with all of my friends online that love home decor. But I'm really, really excited. So is Kwemi. Right, Kwemi? Hey, right. After this, Michelle and I are going to watch you, the new season. Michelle, it's only 10.50. Oh, wow. It feels I like two. earlier. Oh, it feels like two. And how do you feel about you and our friendship just being amazing and being able to do all these things? Because if I did any of these things, I would drive you nuts and then we would kill each other. So here's the thing, you guys. At the end of the day, the reason why Kim gives it to me and the reason why I prefer doing it is because she's probably gonna drive me insane mm -hmm. and I'm gonna have to take control because mm -hmm. we both have controlling issues mm -hmm. individually. Mm -hmm. Look at the ugly shit that my husband has in our house. <laughs> <sighs> and that is why we do what we do. Yeah, God, I'm not pressuring her to do these things. Okay, y'all need to get over She's this. just so good at them, actually. No offense at all, but y'all don't really know our friendship. <laughs> No, 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 I have controlling issues. That's why I do it. I cannot wait to go to Adele and cry with you and smile with you and sing with you. You guys, five more days until Adele, mom? Yeah. Five more days until Adele.
You better be good, Mom. Mom, I haven't heard anything on anywhere. I, I haven't heard anything either, Mom. All right, let's start it.